for doing. Uh, we now would like to hear uh, uh, from uh, Mr. Chris Galise, who is the acting administrator of NASA, as you know, uh, who has filled that job for some months now. And uh, uh, we've had the chance to visit with him uh, uh, briefly before, and we'll be spending a good deal of time with him. And uh, we've also had a chance to just very briefly have conversations with his successor, who we'll be able to speak with more when he's uh, officially uh, in position. I, uh, but uh, uh, Mr. Scalise has agreed to make a few remarks this morning, and if uh, everything works the way we hope it will, and it looks like it is, uh, Chris, welcome, and we'd love to hear uh, not only your comments on this panel, but what's happening uh, where you are. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll start with uh, what's happening down here. Uh, we, of course, uh, had to uh, scrub the launch last night. Uh, we have a, uh, detected a, a leak in the, uh, in the GUP, which is the area where we vent the, the liquid hydrogen, or the, uh, the gaseous hydrogen. Uh, the size of the leak is about the size of a, of a pinhole, um, so it's, uh, it's very small, but still it's, it's something that we need to be uh, concerned about. Uh, we don't yet have the, the cause for it. Uh, this happened uh, recently. Uh, about the last, uh, the mission before the Hubble servicing mission, uh, we were able to go in there and, uh, and fill in the, uh, uh, do a replacement and, and a repair and everything went fine. We did the same thing this time, uh, but this time we didn't, uh, we didn't succeed. So we're going to have to take a step back, go off and look at what's, uh, what occurred, understand the data, and then uh, go back and, uh, and uh, we'll have an attempt again uh, no earlier than, uh, than the beginning of July. Uh, when we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try and fly this mission then. But, uh, of course, we're going to fly safe and we're going to understand what, what occurred on this, uh, uh, on this latest uh, uh, activity, and, and then we'll proceed. Uh, but this morning I'd like to uh, uh, thank the panel for, uh, for agreeing to do this. Uh, we know how, how busy uh, you all are, and we really appreciate you uh, taking the time to go off and work on this, uh, this very important task. Uh, it's hard to add much more to what, uh, what John uh, discussed earlier. This is something that's critical for the nation. It's critical for, for NASA. Uh, we recognize clearly the importance of, of space and aeronautics uh, to the nation and to the world, uh, and uh, human spaceflight in particular that we're going to be reviewing here. Uh, there's a number of, of challenges uh, going on in, in the uh, budget environment that we live in. There's a number of options that, that clearly can be considered, and uh, we hope to, to hear those from you and work with you on that. To that end, I want to assure you that NASA is going to be very open and, uh, and uh, uh, thorough in our support of the team. To that end, we put two of our, our best and brightest, Phil McAllister, who, who uh, introduced the conference, and, and Mike Hawes, uh, to support the team. Uh, Mike is the head of our program analysis and evaluation. He's uniquely suited to be able to support the team because he looks at the entire agency. He looks at all of the things that, uh, that we do. So human spaceflight is one component of that. He uh, has a long history in that activity and uh, understands it very well. Uh, I assure you and I've told him that he has access to everybody within the agency. And I'm sure Charlie Bolden, when he's on board, will, will make sure that that continues. Uh, as we proceed, um, probably a couple of, of items worth, worth mentioning. Um, I know the team is going to work uh, uh, very hard. The, the review committee is going to work very hard looking at what we do. And uh, one of the things, I, or some of the things that I, I think are important as you look at us are to consider the, the, uh, the mission that we have to get humans out of low Earth orbit now. Uh, that's going to require us to, uh, to do something we haven't done in over 40 years. Uh, the, uh, the, the challenge is going to be greater because this time we're not just going to go back to the moon for a few visits for a few days, but ultimately to, to travel beyond the moon, uh, ultimately to Mars and, and other destinations that will require long duration spaceflight. Uh, critical to that, of course, is our understanding of long duration spaceflight and our, and our International Space Station that is uh, up there today, crewed by, uh, by six people now, 
and beginning to uh, conduct the research that we need to do to understand long duration space flight. So there's, there's some uh, components that we need to consider there. I'd ask you to consider that uh, the, the comments of the CABE that looked at the uh, aftermath of the Columbia accident and made some recommendations to NASA about separating crew and cargo, providing crew escape, uh, and those types of, of, uh, of activities. Also looking at our international partnerships, both our commitments that we have today, but also what we need to do in the future. Uh, space is an international venture. Uh, everything that, that we have done almost since the beginning of the space age has involved uh, international partners, whether they be in our, robo our, our robotic missions or in our human spaceflight missions. And we expect that'll be something that'll be continued in, in the future. Uh, and of course, we have to look at a, our program and, and understand it in terms of the budget environment, uh, the technological capabilities of the nation, our industrial capabilities, how we maintain those, our academic institutions, and how we preserve the pipeline of scientists and engineers and technicians that will need to operate not only these systems, but other systems, and how we motivate them. So uh, that's really about all that I can, uh, I can add to it. Uh, again, I'd like to thank you for, uh, for agreeing to serve on this commission. I want to let you know that we will uh, we'll listen carefully, we'll work with you closely, and uh, we'll work with the administration as we, uh, as we develop uh, responses and, and respond to the, uh, to the options that are presented. So thank you again. Chris, thank you very much, and particularly <clears throat> under the circumstances where you're very busy there for taking the time to talk to us. And, uh, uh, the support we've received from Mike and Phil has been fantastic, and uh, as we've tried to organize it and get ourselves prepared to, to move ahead. So thank you, and we look forward to working with you.